Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here coming at you from Costa Rica. We are yes. here for our second annual Eat, Move, Rest Costa Rica retreat at Finca de Vida. Yes, so Max is asleep behind us, which is why we're talking a little quiet. But I wish you guys could see what we're looking at. We're sitting on the balcony of our place, uh, same place we stayed last year, and it is just absolutely breathtaking. The valley and the ocean in the distance, this place is a serious gem. Yeah, the week has been action-packed, yes. but it's also been super relaxing. We've yep. had plenty of downtime. The food has been epic. Right. Just exactly what we could have ever hoped for. We gave them the meal plan, gave them our guidelines, and they more than delivered. So we're super excited. Tonight we're having veggie burgers. Yes. We can't <laughs> wait. And it's a little bit bittersweet that it's the last night. Yep. And we're so blissed out and zenned out, <laughs> and we're gonna try and try our best to hold on to this feeling for right. when we go home because right now the coronavirus thing is just blowing up. So, right. so we actually had plans to stay for four or five extra days, and we've cut that short. We are actually going home with everybody tomorrow, which is kind of a bummer. We really wanted to stay a little bit longer and just shoot YouTubes and just have fun as a family, the three of us. Um, yeah, decompress with, a little bit after the retreat. Right, and we're not going to get to do that, which is okay. We still had an awesome week, but we're just kind of, you know, feeling a little bit, maybe a little scared, but I'm not really sure what to think with the whole coronavirus thing. Yeah, and it I seems... almost think what's more contagious than the virus itself is just the fear. fear and the panic that's being instilled in so many people and I think yeah. the media is part to blame in part to blame for that and social media. Yeah. I know for me I've kind of tried to steer clear of it as much as possible because every time I get on my phone, yeah. all of a sudden my level of anxiety just is heightened. So yeah. we're just really trying to stay grounded, stay connected to nature, listen to our intuition. Yeah. And we've really gotten good at that on this retreat. So we're gonna hope hopefully be able to bring some of that home with us, be able to spread the light into the darkness and help to comfort those around us. And to give you guys tools, we could talk a little bit about how to boost or bolster your immunity. Right. Um, obviously stay home, no unnecessary travel. That's why we're getting home so we can be there. Yes. Um, this is a great time to just hunker down, refocus on what really matters, slow down, something yeah. our society really needs to relearn. And I think that's part of the message here. Totally. We, I mean, it's easy for us to stay because we're still here and it's, you know, 80 degrees and perfect and sunny. So again, vitamin D, vitamin C, you know, making sure that you're eating all the colors of the rainbow, even if the grocery stores are empty. I mean, there are still healthy foods that you can buy that are dried. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we certainly have some good recipes on our channel. But yeah, get get your fruits in, get your and, your veggies, and yeah, just make sure you're getting all those nutrients to stay healthy. Yeah, and I would say something I'll take away from here, coronavirus or not, is yeah. sun gazing. Oh, uh, yes. So sun gazing and grounding, what did Brian tell us? The four to things. To get yourself out into the natural elements. So right. grounding, feeling the earth with your feet, yep. gazing at the sun, it gives yes. you that vitamin D and literally just like radiant light and right. energy what else was there water obviously we need water and we're, we're drinking like the purest water here like no chlorine like no filters this is like straight off the mountain like super mineral rich rich water which we're super fortunate to have but again in the states especially we're all very fortunate to have drinking um, fresh drinking water and, and pretty clean water so the stay hydrated air I think wasn't it yep. oxygen. oxygen so focusing on your breath so if right. you can do those four things every day yeah that's gonna really bolster your immune system right. and I think what trumps all of these is love and compassion right and love will win out over fear any day so right. if you can stay away from some of that panic right and you know there's a lot of misinformation there's also a lot of helpful information out there but yep. if you can just try to stay grounded the information that you need to receive will come to you you don't need to over consume yeah so again i just like what what we learned here on the on the retreat you know stop worrying about the impermanent things you know even coronavirus this isn't going to last forever we just need to get back to the basics we're all kind of quarantined not a state 
not a city, not a country. This is the whole world. Even here where we are, even in the town, um, we think that we're protected, but they even told us here in the town um, about 30 minutes away, there was actually a case or two cases of coronavirus here in the literally in the middle of nowhere. I think it just goes to also show how interconnected right. we all are and that we all are one. Yes, we really so are. So that and, and like I said, it's just a time to really turn inward yep. if you're an introvert. Yep. <laughs> Now's your good, time to shine. Good for us, because, yeah, we're we're total introverts. Yeah. Even though we, this is why we're hosting retreats. Like, we want to make friends and get out in the world mm -hmm. and meet people. And, again, the lessons that we're learning here, yeah. I think, to take home with us apply regardless, coronavirus right. or not. But yeah. especially now, especially in this case. Right. So, again, I just want to reiterate, going barefoot, something I've never done in my whole entire life and it scares the heck out of me because I've got sensitive little baby feet, but it really makes a difference because it's all about presence, right? It's all about presence of moment. How do you get less scared, less anxious, less worked up and worried? Be present. Just sit in the moment. And what happens when you walk barefoot? You can literally only think about your next step. Especially if you're out here in the jungle, like you're worried about what you're going to step on. And, you know, it's simple things like that. Like Aaron just said, we're back at our origins. We're drinking fresh, pure water. We're getting energy from the sun. We're eating plants that are falling off the trees, these fruits. And it's like so basic, but mm -hmm. so invigorating. A great way to round this out and close this out is... No matter where you're at in this world, we can all plug into our love equation. Right. <laughs> so, I love blank, does it love me back? Right. And if it's the answer is no, yeah. then it's time to reassess, maybe get rid of that thing in your life, or right. alter or modify it, Right. make some changes, so that can apply to food, yep. people, places, things. If it doesn't love you back, it's not worth loving. No. And I think it just ultimately comes down to less. Mm -hmm. Have less, do less, worry less, and your life will get easier. Your mind will clear out and life will get better. Mm -hmm. For and all of us. So. It doesn't matter how much toilet paper you have stocked up right now. <laughs> yes. You still might get the coronavirus. But hopefully if you're doing things to stay healthy and boost your immune system, it won't be that bad. <laughs> right. So we cannot give you medical advice, but we have talked to doctor friends and family, and they say the best thing to do is that stay home, watch Netflix, protect yourself and your kids by not being in large crowds of people, and just relax, chill out. Get rid of all the chaos, the excess. Spend this time cleaning the house and cleaning out the garage or whatever you have to do, most places are pretty well shut down and it's a good thing. It's happening for a reason to slow us all down just like we've done here. For future retreat attendees, if you're interested in attending next year, March 2021, we will be right back here again, yes, doing spot. this again, yes. getting reinvigorated, um, going home with a new zeal for life, yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say, but it really, it sticks. I it's, think it stuck yeah. with me most of the year, but I was definitely ready for a recharge. Uh, this has been amazing. I've had more fun this year, and it, again, both groups have been perfect. Last year, our first group was amazing, but we've made, again, just amazing friends and built some amazing relationships, and I just think that this place, this country, this type of food, this type of lifestyle, you know, eat, move, rest, like, get back to the basics, and we've, we've done like... it all. I feel like that makes these relationships and our friendships like so alive it doesn't matter we've got people from all over the world that came here with us and we're all very different but we all have had so much fun yeah and i feel like we're so close to our origin like right. this is the way we were supposed to live in yeah. this kind of climate that's comfortable year round yeah with fruit that's falling off of the trees yeah. and so many just lush beautiful plants yeah. And like I said, the sun is just so energizing here. Yeah. And yeah, it just feels right. And it helps you to be able to reconnect so that going home, you can incorporate some of those practices back into your life, even if you don't right. live in a tropical climate. We hope you guys enjoy some of the footage from this year's retreat. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you who came and joined us here. Right. 
Like Dusty said, we were nervous to be able to replicate last year, oh, but man. it has exceeded our expectations yet again. Yes. So we just can't wait for future guests to come with. Yes. And we love all of you, and it's been amazing. Tears, Thanks. tears were shed, laughter was had, and it was a blast. We've got our last dinner coming up, like right now. So we're gonna head. We hope to see you guys here with us one of these days very soon. Keep move rest. Your, your best. best. Bye, Peace. guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.